The ICGB was established in 1987 uh, under the United Nations Common System to provide a center of excellence for research and training in molecular genetics and biotechnology with the overall goal to contribute to global development. It operates through its main laboratories in Trieste, Italy, New Delhi, India and Cape Town, South Africa with additional outstations in Buenos Aires and Rome. The ICGB labs in Trieste host 15 research groups with over 200 scientists um, representing over 30 countries from throughout the world. We perform cutting-edge research in the life sciences with topics including cancer research, virology, cellular immunology, uh, genetic basis of disease and molecular medicine. We're equipped with state-of-the-art facilities including proteomics, microscopy, high throughput sequencing platforms and AAV production facilities. Our labs offer a scientific environment of the highest international standard in terms of instrumentation and core facilities for research. All three ICGB centers host internationally recognized PhD and programs that are supported by ICGB funded fellowships. My own research group, Tumor Virology, are interested in virus host interactions and in particular those with human papillomaviruses which are the causative agents of 5% of human cancers. A breakthrough in this area has been made uh, through a collaboration with the Protein Networks Laboratory headed by Mike Myers here in the labs in Trieste where a postdoctoral fellow in my lab, Martina Bagant, who's from Slovenia, has been interested in understanding the mechanisms by which the viral capsid proteins contribute to this infection process. This was achieved through the use of novel quantitative proteomic analyses which were developed by Bethel Bacol in Mike Meyer's lab. And using this, Martina was able to identify the interactome of the viral capsid proteins L1 and L2. One of the key proteins that was found is a cellular protein called sortinexin 17 which plays a critical role in cargo fate determination in endocytic transport pathways. Uh, we have been able to, to show that incoming viruses are recruiting sortinexin, especially sortinexin 17, to uh, virus-containing vesicles. In this way, viruses are redirected from the lysosomal degradation pathway to a pathway which is more associated to retrograde transport. My group studies how proteins interact with each other and how these interactions form higher order networks and things like protein machines which come together to serve a single biochemical function. And this is quite important because these machines are connected to each other in higher order networks and these networks are responsible for regulating how the cell responds to a variety of environmental stimuli and it's quite important in complex diseases such as cancer and uh, neurological disorders. Our team is interested in the cell biology of dendritic cells, which is a central type of antigen-presenting cells, really important to initiate immune responses against pathogens. So T-cell activation by dendritic cells takes place in lymph nodes, where the two cells encounter and form tight intercellular junctions, which are called immune synapses, by analogy with neuronal uh, synapses. The Molecular Medicine Laboratory at the ICGB has a strong interest in finding new biological therapeutics for cardiovascular disorders. These are a huge problem worldwide. According to the WHO, 17 million people die because of these disorders worldwide, and 80% of these are in low and middle income countries. In the big metropolitan cities in Asia, in Sub-Saharan Africa, more people die because of non-communicable diseases than they used to do for uh, infectious disorders. In an attempt to identify and develop novel therapy for cardiovascular regeneration, we uh, focus our attention on microRNAs, which are short RNA molecules known to control complex biological processes. And in particular, among the 2,000 uh, microRNAs encoding by the human genome, we identified 40 microRNAs able to induce the proliferation of uh, mouse, rat and human cardiomyocytes. This is a very dynamic and international scientific environment. 
uh, one of the highlights of the laboratories in Trieste um, is our internationally recognised and very successful PhD and postdoctoral fellowship programmes which attract young scientists from all over the world.